class. My name is Mosum Dorji. I am senior and I am taking the anatomy and physiology class. Uh, for the class, I had to do a bio expo, which is a really interesting topic. So for the topic, uh, I chose uh, seizure disorder because it relates to me. Uh, so I did this topic to explore myself more. And this is actually for my survival as well as to graduate from high school. So. First of all, uh, I want to talk about what seizure is. Oh, is it free? Okay. Oh, no, it's okay. I can talk here. So, a seizure is an absent period of time that occurs in brain because of abnormal electrical activities, which can cause changes in people's behaviors as well as in, in a person. Uh, there are many types of seizure, but those are the common types. So, our first uh, common type of seizure is absent atonic. Uh, in the seizure, person uh, remains conscious, but uh, but uh, the attack is also known as muscle tone, and uh, it mostly affects uh, the arms, the legs, and uh, people may need protection. So most people they need helmet for for the head because they might uh, hurt their head. So yeah, and the seizure lasts uh, from childhood to adulthood. So mainly, like the both patients can be uh, caused in childhood. So another one is tonic tonic, also known as grand mal. Grand mal is uh, their old name. And uh, this is the most common. So there, there will be always warning before the attacks. Because I mean, like, uh, for example, if, I, if I'm going to have seizure, I can usually feel it. So that's like uh, feelings as fear, uh, anxiety, nausea, like feeling of throwing up. And there will be like sometimes there will be like odd feelings that comes which can be like that will be always undescribable. So those are the like common warnings for the seizures. And there are many causes of seizure, but those are like uh, main main causes. Like the first uh, common causes are high fever that usually occurs in uh, children. So mainly children are uh, suffer by this kind of symptoms, and uh, if if person has head injury, that may cause seizure, and uh, heart stroke, heart disease are also common causes. And and if people have poisoning, and uh, that can also cause a seizure, and the snake bite and meningitis are also common causes. And uh, the most common to stop severe, but we have to learn. I mean, we have to know which, if they're breathing where it's stop fully or not. And we we always have to protect people from falling down. And we like if person is on the chair and they suddenly try to fall, we have to move everything that's around. Like because if there is like sharp stops there, that might uh, injure their head and they can hurt their body. So that can be uh, some protection. And um, if if person is pregnant or injured or diabetic person, that's a really emergency and we have to call 911 for that. Right. So, uh, sorry. <laughs> so it's time for a group discussion. Uh, I want you guys to make a group of three or four people and I want, to, I want you guys to discuss about what you have learned so far. So your guys' focus question will be what is a seizure and what are the common causes of seizures? So, I want you guys to discuss for a three minutes or so. Really quickly. It will be really helpful if you guys did. 
So are you guys done with your discussion or you guys need some time? You guys done? Sure. So okay. Welcome back again after this discussion. And now we're gonna have like some kind of lecture about the treatment and cure of seizure. So uh, for the treatment, uh, before the examination, we have to make sure to tell the doctor how you feel. And we also have to tell how you felt after the seizure. And um, we, we also have to conclude, uh, we have to tell the doctor about the family background or if you have experienced seizure before. And, uh, and after that, uh, the doctor can do blood tests, and also EEG, which is also known as electroencephalogram, that records electrical activities of the brain. And the uh, doctor can do a CT scan, and also MRI, that would be good uh, to see what part of the brain is affected uh, by the seizure. So, what types of seizure? And in this seizure, uh, this is preceded by aura, which is also known as numbness and also weakness. So uh, for, for this seizure, there are lots of side effects such as headache, confusion, um, and next part is uh, it's time for me to answer the investigative question. And my investigative question was, what part of the brain is mostly affected by seizure? So uh, this is a picture of brain, and I want to explain uh, so uh, uh, as I mentioned before, I said the cerebral cortex is primary uh, place that seizure stores. So the part of the brain, this is called cerebral cortex, and this is the first spot that seizure usually stores. So this is also known as primary spot. So uh, it's time for quiz. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Or you guys want to group go into the group? I mean the whole class or in a group? I want my whole class. Whole class. Yeah. Our first question is: What is the most common task of seizure? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so is it A, B, or C, or D? A. 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 Good job. A. So, and if you guys, if you guys have any question, you can ask me. I have a question. Yeah. Do you don't mind me asking? You said you're a seizure patient. Yeah. How often do you get them? Uh, not that often. Like, uh, it happens once a year, like that. But it doesn't usually happen. Like there.